Hello and welcome to um, Living Uniquely You, myself, Sharon Brown. Today I'm coming in for the animals of the month of May. Haven't done this in a while, so really looking forward to it. Um, to, first of all, the energies of the month of May are about new beginnings. It's all about letting go of the old and bringing in the new. Um, it's all about us really focusing on our dreams and letting go of what what no longer serves you and what I'm being told is there is a world of possibilities out there we just need to get out of our heads and into our hearts and when we make the decisions from our hearts everything just falls into place because it's what we truly need to do hi Deirdre um so out of the heads and into the hearts for May also, this what I I have two animals with me this morning. I've had my beautiful lion that's just coming in with courage, and I also have the lamb. Okay, so the lion is coming in for courage, um, and it's to open yourself up and see the possibilities. All yes, dear, infinite possibilities, spot on. Um, see all the possibilities around you. And take the actions from your heart, not your head. And that's what he's coming in to tell us. But he's also giving you the courage to really go and have that element of brave heart in your in yourself. So literally drop down into the heart when there's any decisions um, that need to be made. It's literally just grounding yourself and then you'll feel the difference. See, we're not seeing, um, a lot of us are seeing the signs, but we're not taking the actions. They're saying, oh, that's a sign, and it could be numbers, it could be feathers, it could be just a thought, um, a song on the radio. But what's happening is we are not taking the action, but you must take the action once you are being given the guidance. Because if you don't take the action, the guidance will be given to somebody else, and they'll take the action, and then that that possibility is gone. So that's um, the beautiful lion. Hiya, Bernie. So, and I also have um, the lamb. The lamb is coming in for fun, guys. I'm after literally being given out to this morning and being told, what are you doing? You're not letting the fun in. We're all too, like again, we're all too caught in our heads with the doing and doing and doing and doing and actions and oh god I need to do this and oh this isn't working now and that's so what's happening is we're getting caught up in all basically the bullshit of life so we need to literally hi Inga we need to literally step back and have some fun guys it's all about the fun it's all about literally you know the beautiful lamb and you see him in the spring in the um in the fields it's all about us literally bringing that bounce back into our step that's exactly what um the lamb is saying the evenings are brighter um we can all go out and have a bit of fun maybe even going out and having a kicking a bit of f football with, with a child a grandchild or even yourself and a friend or going um out to a park getting a picnic Literally chilling out, fun, laughter is the key to all this, I'm being told. Laughter, laughter, laughter. We need to have the laughter, the fun, and the joy. Once you it's like a formula, I'm being told. Once you bring those three elements into your life, it's like um it's like you it's like a little potion, I'm being told. So it's it's about drinking the potion of life through laughter, fun and joy. And that's um the two beautiful animals I have. Now I'm going to bring us on um, a meditation and see what, um, I have a feeling it's going to be a funny one, but sure how never we'll go with it. Um, so I'm just going to ground us and literally um, bring us on a meditation and see where we go. So enjoy. So take a deep breath in and just bring all of yourselves back in together. Just bring every part of yourself, all the energies that are scattered everywhere. So just bring them all back in and breathe out. Take another deep breath in. 
and just bring all the energies, the last little bits that are about, just bring them all back in. So just bring the oneness back into yourself and breathe out. And just take another deep breath in. And just feel these energies settle and this oneness becoming, you becoming one with yourself. And breathe out. Now visualise two big golden roots. And as you visualise two big golden roots coming out from your solar plex. Going down into your sacral chakra, your hips, your legs, your feet, the floor you're standing right down, down into the rocks and lava, right down into your earth star chakra, right down into Mother Earth and feel the the energies of Mother Earth as you wrap your beautiful roots around Mother Earth and helping you to become more and more grounded and pure love. The love that Mother Earth has for us is just unreal just feel this energy move all the way up into your earth star chakra cleansing and clearing your earth star chakra and as you cleanse and clear your earth star chakra it's just bringing in the balance the pure balance of oneness the male and the female energies so feel the energy moving all the way up into your feet your legs your hips your sacral chakra your solar plex and into your heart center up into your throat, your third eye, the crown, your head. And feel these energies of Mother Earth just move through every part of your body and every part of your being. Just feel the move. Just feel the energies move, helping you become more and more relaxed and more at one with yourself. Now I'm just going to ask you to bring your awareness to your third eye. And when you bring your awareness to your third eye, you will see a purple light. If you don't, don't worry, just imagine it. This is a purple light and it's getting bigger and bigger and brighter and brighter. And as it gets bigger and brighter, you step into it. And as you step into it, you're going to step into a beautiful place of nature. Just have a good look around. When you step in, you'll see beautiful trees, green grass, perfect clear blue sky, exactly the set, right temperature for you. For you. There might even be a slight breeze. The flowers, beautiful, beautiful place. So just have a good look around and sense and feel and smell the beautiful summer air. So feel these energies. Beautiful, calming, calming, beautiful place. You're going to walk along the path. As you walk along the path, you're going to come across a beautiful big oak tree. Absolutely stunning oak tree and it's so old. It's absolutely huge. They have huge big roots. All nooks and crannies around the bottom of it. So there's one nook and cranny that you can sit in. So you're going to sit in that. You're going to place your back against this beautiful oak tree. As you place your back against the oak tree, you're just going to feel so calm and so relaxed. Because this is the energy of this beautiful oak tree. Real grounding energy. Absolutely beautiful energy. Just feel the energy of the beautiful oak tree. So as you're sitting there feeling the energy of the beautiful oak tree. Just coming in front of you is a silhouette of the two beautiful animals. One is a lion and one is a lamb. Very odd combination, but this is what's coming in for us. Okay, so just feel and sense they're moving forward. You can even see them moving forward. Beautiful, beautiful line. Absolutely beautiful line. This is your line. And this is your lamb. Okay. <clears throat> I feel there's going to be a bit of work done in somebody's throat chakra. So just feel this energy is coming in close to you. Now the lion sits in front of you and the lamb right beside him. Okay. The lion is going to tell you his name. His or her, his name I'm being told. Sorry, it's a him. So just go with the information that you receive. Okay. And the lamb is going to tell you his name. 
or Horne, whichever. Okay. I'm going to step back. <clears throat> okay. The lion is literally going to place, there's a lot of stuff here around the throat chakra. I My throat is just, uh, it's like somebody's after giving me a, a barbed wire. So the lion is going to place his paws on the front of your, your throat chakra and at the back of your throat chakra. And he's going to take out this energy <coughs> of fear of being it's fear of speaking your truth and fear of being seen for who you truly are it's letting your uniqueness shine i'm being told to so feel the energies and they're being literally lifted off <coughs> sorry It's like a ball. It's like I have a four ball, sorry, in my throat. So it's literally been, I can see his paw going around and around. So he's moving the energy. You'll feel the energy move through your throat. Okay. It's clearing. So somebody or a lot of you, include myself, could have a lot of stuff around our throat. So that's being cleared and cleansed today. Okay. And what he is placing in there is courage. Courage to speak your truth. Courage to stand out and let your uniqueness shine. So you'll feel the energy of, I'm getting freedom. Freedom of speech. Freedom of um uniqueness freedom in all areas of your life so you'll feel this energy of freedom being placed into your throat chakra and it's moving now up into your mouth and it's clearing so you can speak your truth in your mouth okay it's just i feel an energy around the mouth it's like it's clearing anything negative that's holding you back Okay, and up into your ear chakra so you can hear the guidance that you need you need to hear and also um they give me the guidance that you need to hear and also um the guidance that you need to speak. So they're being cleansed and cleared. Now it's going up into the your third eye and it's helping you visualize visualize it's all about visual being visible also to your guides and also to yourself okay and it's seeing it's helping you with your intuition so you can see the steps and the synchronicities and the signs that are being given to you so you are not discarding them as just oh look i'm after seeing a feather Oh, oh, look, I'm after getting that number five times. I wonder what that could be. So it's clearing all that negative stuff around vision and your third eye. Now it's going up into your, the crown of your head. And it's clearing all unwanted thoughts, all fog brain. All the negative, all the negative thought, I'm not good enough, I'm not this, I'm not, oh look they're doing this and I should be doing that. No, you should be doing what you're meant to be doing. And that is following the steps that your guides are giving you to really harness your uniqueness and open yourself to the world of possibility. Okay, so all that negative crap that you're telling yourself is literally being moved here. It's going up into your soul star chakra and it's cleansing and clearing anything that no longer serves you knowing and unknowingly that is stopping you from fully embracing your soul mission on this planet. Now it's coming straight back down. You can feel it dripping all the way back down. Back back down in toward eye. Right down your face, down into your throat centre your throat chakra now it's going into your heart it's doing a 360 degree around your heart and it's cleansing and clearing anything that is stopping you from 
making decisions from your heart, fully embracing yourself, your heart's desire. Stop stopping yourself, I'm being told. It's clear in the energy of lack. Now it's going down into your solar plex. And it's clear in the energy of lack. Again here, the lack of self-worth, the lack of self-worthiness, the lack of self-belief. So it's being cleared and cleansed, cleared and cleansed. It's going down to, into your sacral chakra. And it's clearing anything that is stopping you from being fully creative in your life. Absolutely clearing all the murkiness, all. It's like, it's, I'm getting lack of vision. So it's like you want to do something, but you're not, you're not holding the vision long enough. So you need to hold that vision, I'm being told. Now it's going down into your root chakra and it's clearing that energy of survival. And another thing of lack, lack of um, money, the energy of being in survival mode all the time, that is being constantly cleared and deleted. It's going down into your legs. And to remove and anything that is stopping you from moving forward in every part of your legs into your feet, down to the floor you're standing, right down into your earth star chakra, and it's cleansing and clearing anything that no longer serves you knowing and unknowingly that is stopping you from fully, fully being anchored into Mother Earth and being grounded 24-7. Okay, so feel this energy is moving all the way back up. All the way back up into your feet, your legs, your hips, your sacral chakra, your solar plex, your throat. And just feel these energies move to every part of your body, every part of your being, every part of your 12 DNA strand, right down to your cellular memory and right down to every part of your body and right out into your skin, your auric field and coming all the way back in just feel this energy move to every part of your body and this is courage this is courage and freedom from the beautiful lion okay so let's feel those energies move now the lion is going to step back and the lamb the lamb is going to step forward And the lamb is placing on your head a daisy chain. And this daisy chain represents the fun, the joy and the laughter that we need to bring into our lives now. We are getting too caught up in all of the negative stuff. So this daisy chain <laughs> represents your... The childlike wonder in the world. So, okay, so you're going to feel the energy of this daisy chain. I must actually look up what the daisy chain means after. So you're going to feel the energy of this daisy chain of fun. It's like it's given, it's going right into your head and it's moving down to every part of your body and it's like it's awakening the cells of all your cells in your body and it's waking them up to the vibration of fun and joy and laughter okay so just feel this energy move through every part of your body every part of your being and it's literally awakening you might even i can feel tingling all down the arms and right down the back of my spine so this is just literally it's like it's turning it's turning the dial to fun, joy and laughter. That's what I can see. And it's literally awakening the cells in your body. And it's just going through every part of your body, every part of your being. And it's literally just awakening to the magic. The magic of life, the magic of wonder, the magic of possibilities. So it's time to bring the magic back into your life. Feel it move to every part of your body and every part of your being. Okay, 
Okay. Absolutely beautiful energy. Just feel it moving. And this energy is going to combine now with the energy of freedom. So these two energies are going to combine and it's literally going to anchor into every part of your body. Moving, moving through every part of your body. Wow. That's all I can say is wow. I'm getting that feeling of wow and going out and doing something. It's like that childlike wonder is being woken been awakening into us. So just feel that energy now move through all your body. Now the lion has a gift for you and this is it can be a phrase, a knowing, a feeling, an object and also, there is a little bit of guidance here from the beautiful line. Okay. So just go with the information you're receiving. Okay. I'm being told it's time. It's time, it's time, it's time. That's all I'm being told. Okay, now the lamb has some guidance for you as well to bring in the wonder, the magic back into your life, the childlike wonder. And what I'm seeing over the lamb's head is that infinity sign, you know, the eight on its side. So that is an infinity of possibilities, infinity of, of wonder, magic. Okay, so just go with the information you're receiving. <clears throat> right, that infinity sign is literally being dropped into the crown of your head. And that energy of infinity is, it's like a whirlwind. It's literally going from your soul star chakra and it's being anchored right through every part of your the crown of your head, your third eye, your throat, your heart, your sacral chakra, your solar plex, your hips, your legs, your feet, right down, down into your earth star chakra. And feel the energy of this infinity going to every part of your body, every part of your being, to all your DNA, to your cellular memory, out to your, to your skin, and right out to your auric field and coming straight back in. And this is being anchored into your power centre. Okay, so unfortunately it's time to say goodbye to the beautiful lion and his beautiful lamb. And your lamb, sorry. So say goodbye to whatever way is appropriate for you. And they're going to walk. They're just going to walk back the way they came. And you're going to gather yourself up from underneath this beautiful, beautiful tree. Beautiful oak tree. And you're going to walk along the path until you come to the purple light. And when you come to the purple light, you're going to step in to the purple light, step into your third eye and slowly bring your awareness back into yourself and slowly, slowly, slowly bring yourself back in. Oh, wow, that was quite um, magical, I can say. Um, hello everybody that joins me. Hiya Jenny, hiya Inga, hiya Sally, hiya Maria. Um, anyone that joined halfway through that, please do do it from the start because it's there's um to me that was quite special, especially for the month of May with the summer coming in and um really harnessing those energies for May. Um I hope you enjoyed that as much as I did. Um if you would like to work with me on a one-to-one -one basis, I have um, programs with the Animal Guides. I also do um, soul alignment and self-embodiment um, programs. So I'll pop in. Um, I have a lot of spaces at the moment for um, self-empowerment calls as I've opened up my diary for the month of May to really um, harness these energies 
that are going that are affecting us at the moment so um book a book a call with me and let's see whether i'm an energetic match to you and likewise you're to me because um if we're not energetically matched i can't unfortunately i can't work with you um so have you're welcome jenny you're welcome inga i haven't brought an animal in for ages and you know what it was absolutely beautiful i just loved our energies um have a magical wednesday and really harness those energies for the month of may and remember if you are feeling a bit off do call those energies of the lion in and remember the lamb and remember you have that daisy chain it's literally being anchored into you now so that is if you're feeling a bit low come back and think to the daisy chain that we done today and remember you always have that with you so have an amazing wednesday and i'll talk to you all again soon take care bye